Indian Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Indian cuisine consists of a wide variety of regional and traditional cuisines native to the Indian subcontinent. Given the range of diversity in soil type, climate, culture, ethnic groups, and occupations, these cuisines vary substantially from each other and use locally available spices, herbs, vegetables, and fruits. Indian food is also heavily influenced by religion, in particular Hindu, and cultural choices and traditions. Also, Middle Eastern and Central Asian influences have occurred on North Indian cuisine from the years of Mughal rule. Indian cuisine is still evolving, as a result of the nation's cultural interactions with other societies. History Antiquity Middle Ages to the 16th centuries Ingredients Regional cuisines Andaman and Nicobar Islands Andhra Pradesh Arunachal Pradesh Assam Bihar Chandigarh Chhattisgarh Dadra and Nagar Haveli Daman and Dayu Delhi Goa Gujarat Haryana Himachal Pradesh Jammu and Kashmir Yaharkand Karnataka Kerala Lakshadweep Madhya Pradesh Maharashtra Historical incidents such as foreign invasions, trade relations, and colonialism have played a role in introducing certain foods to the country. For instance, potato, a staple of the diet in some regions of India, was brought to India by the Portuguese, who also introduced chilies and breadfruit. Indian cuisine has shaped the history of international relations, the spice trade between India and Europe was the primary catalyst for Europe's age of discovery. Spices were bought from India and traded around Europe and Asia. Indian cuisine has influenced other cuisines across the world, especially those from Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, the British Isles, Fiji, and the Caribbean. Malwani Manipur Indian cuisine reflects an 8,000-year history of various groups and cultures interacting with the subcontinent, leading to diversity of flavors and regional cuisines found in modern-day India. Later, trade with British and Portuguese influence added to the already diverse Indian cuisine. Meghalaya Mizoram Early diet in India mainly consisted of legumes, vegetables, fruits, grains, dairy products, and honey. Staple foods eaten today include a variety of lentils, whole wheat flour, rice, and pearl millet, which has been cultivated in the Indian subcontinent since 6200 BCE. Over time, Segments of the population embraced vegetarianism during Rama Superscript 1 a movement while an equitable climate permitted a variety of fruits, vegetables, and grains to be grown throughout the year. A food classification system that categorized any item as sattvic, rajasic, or tamasic developed in yoga tradition. The Bhagavad Gita proscribes certain dietary practices. Consumption of beef is taboo, due to cows being considered sacred in Hinduism. Beef is generally not eaten by Hindus in India except for Kerala and the Northeast. During the Middle Ages, several Indian dynasties were predominant, including the Gupta dynasty. Traveling to India during this time introduced new cooking methods and products to the region, including tea. India was later invaded by tribes from Central Asian cultures, 
which led to the emergence of Mughlay cuisine, a mix of Indian and Central Asian cuisine. Hallmarks include seasonings such as saffron. Staple foods of Indian cuisine include pearl millet, rice, whole wheat flour, and a variety of lentils, such as masoer, tur, urad, and mung. Lentils may be used whole, dehuskata euro for example, dhulai mung, or dhulai urad a euro or split. Split lentils, or dal, are used extensively. Some pulses, such as chana or koli, rajma, and lobiya are very common, especially in the northern regions. Chana and mung are also processed into flour. Many Indian dishes are cooked in vegetable oil, but peanut oil is popular in northern and western India, mustard oil in eastern India, and coconut oil along the western coast, especially in Kerala. Gingoli oil is common in the south since it imparts a fragrant, nutty aroma. In recent decades, sunflower, safflower, cottonseed, and soybean oils have become popular across India. Hydrogenated vegetable oil, known as vanaspati ghee, is another popular cooking medium. Butter-based ghee, or deshi ghee, is used frequently, though less than in the past. Many types of meat are used for Indian cooking, but chicken and mutton tend to be the most commonly consumed meats. Fish and beef consumption are prevalent in some parts of India, but they are not widely consumed except for coastal areas, as well as the northeast. The most important and frequently used spices and flavorings in Indian cuisine are whole or powdered chili pepper black mustard seed, cardamom, cumin, turmeric, asafoetida, ginger, coriander, and garlic. One popular spice mix is garam masala, a powder that typically includes five or more dried spices, especially cardamom, cinnamon, and clove. Each culinary region has a distinctive garam masala blend a euro individual chefs may also have their own. Gota masala is a comparable, though sweet, spice mix popular in Maharashtra. Some leaves commonly used for flavoring include bay leaves, coriander leaves, fenugreek leaves, and mint leaves. The use of curry leaves and roots for flavoring is typical of Gujarati and South Indian cuisine. Sweet dishes are often seasoned with cardamom, saffron, nutmeg, and rose petal essences. Cuisine differs across India's diverse regions as a result of variation in local culture, geographical location, and economics. It also varies seasonally, depending on which fruits and vegetables are ripe. Seafood plays a major role in the cuisine of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Staples of the diet of the indigenous Andamanese traditionally included roots, honey, fruits, meat, and fish, which were obtained by hunting and gathering. Some insects were also eaten as delicacies. Immigration from mainland of India, however, has resulted in variations in the cuisine. The cuisine of Andhra Pradesh belongs to the two Telugu-speaking regions of Rayalaseema and coastal Andhra and is part of Telugu cuisine. The food of Andhra Pradesh is known for its heavy use of spices, and similar to South Indian cuisine, the use of tamarind. Seafood is common in the coastal region of the state. Rice is the staple food eaten with lentil preparations such as papu and pulusu and spicy vegetables or curries. In Andhra, leafy greens, or vegetables such as bottle gourd and eggplant are usually added to dal. Pickles are an essential part of the local cuisine, popular among those are mango-based pickles such as avakaya and maigaya, gongara, yuzirikaya, nimekaya, and tomato pickle. Yogurt is a common addition to meals, as a way of tempering spiciness. Breakfast items include dosa, pesaratu, veda, and idli.
The staple food of Arunachal Pradesh is rice, along with fish, meat and leaf vegetables. Many varieties of rice are used. Lettuce is the most common vegetable, usually prepared by boiling with ginger, coriander and green chilies. Boiled rice cakes wrapped in leaves are a popular snack. Thukpa is a kind of noodle soup common among the Manpa tribe of the region. Native tribes of Arunachal are meat eaters and use fish, eggs, beef, chicken, pork, and mutton to make their dishes. A pong or rice beer made from fermented rice or millet is a popular beverage in Arunachal Pradesh and is consumed as a refreshing drink. Assamese cuisine is a mixture of different indigenous styles, with considerable regional variation and some external influences. Although it is known for its limited use of spices, Assamese cuisine has strong flavors from its use of endemic herbs, fruits and vegetables served fresh, dried or fermented. Rice is the staple food item in a huge variety of endemic rice varieties, including several varieties of sticky rice are a part of the cuisine in Assam. Fish, generally freshwater varieties, are widely eaten. Other non-vegetarian items include chicken, duck, squab, snails, silkworms, insects, goat, pork, venison, turtle, monitor lizard, etc. The region's cuisine involves simple cooking processes, mostly barbecuing, steaming, or boiling. Bana the gentle frying of spices before the addition of the main ingredients, generally common in Indian cooking, is absent in the cuisine of Assam. A traditional meal in Assam begins with a kar, a class of dishes named after the main ingredient and ends with a tenga, a sour dish. Home-brewed rice beer or rice wine is served before a meal. The food is usually served in bell metal utensils. Pawn, the practice of chewing betel nut, generally concludes a meal. Bihari cuisine is wholesome and simple. Liti chaka, a baked salted wheat flour cake filled with sato and some special spices, is well known among the middle class families served with bigan barda, made of roasted eggplant and tomatoes. Among meat dishes, Meat salan is a popular dish made of mutton or goat curry with cubed potatoes in garam masala. Dal puri is another popular dish in Bihar. It is salted wheat flour bread, filled with boiled, crushed, and fried gram pulses. Malpua is a popular sweet dish of Bihar, prepared by a mixture of maida, milk, bananas, cashew nuts, peanuts, raisins, sugar, water, and green cardamom. Another notable sweet dish of Bihar is Balu Shahi, which is prepared by a specially treated combination of maida and sugar along with ghee, and the other worldwide famous sweet, kaja, also very popular, is made from flour, vegetable fat, and sugar which is mainly used in weddings and other occasions. Silov near Nalanda is famous for its production. During the festival of Chhut, Thekwa, a sweet dish made of ghee, jaggery and wholemeal flour, flavored with aniseed, is made. Chandigarh, the capital of Punjab and Haryana is a city of 20th century origin with a cosmopolitan food culture mainly involving North Indian cuisine. People enjoy homemade recipes such as parantha, especially at breakfast, and other Punjabi foods like roti which is made from wheat, corn or other glutinous flour with cooked vegetables or beans. Sarsan de Sog and Dal Makhani are well-known dishes among others. Popular snacks include Gol Gappa. It consists of a round, hollow puri, fried crisp and filled with a mixture of flavored water, boiled and cubed potatoes, Bengal gram beans, etc.
Chhattisgarh cuisine is unique in nature and not found in the rest of India, although the staple food is rice, like in much of the country. Many Chhattisgarhi people drink liquor brewed from the Mahiwa flower palm wine. The tribal people of the Bastar region of Chhattisgarh eat ancestral dishes such as mushrooms, bamboo pickle, bamboo vegetables, etc. The local cuisine resembles the cuisine of Gujarat. Ubedayu is a local delicacy made of vegetables and beans with herbs. The common foods include rice, roti, vegetables, river fish, and crab. People also enjoy buttermilk and chutney made of different fruits and herbs. Daman and Diu is a union territory of India which, like Goa, was a former colonial possession of Portugal. Consequently, both native Gujarati food and traditional Portuguese food are common. Being a coastal region, the communities are mainly dependent on seafood. Normally, totli and tea are taken for breakfast, totla and sok for lunch, and chaka along with sok and curry are taken for dinner. Some of the dishes prepared on festive occasions include puri, lapsi, padia, dud plag, and tahakanu. While alcohol is prohibited in the neighboring state of Gujarat, drinking is common in Daman and Dayu. Better known as the A Euro Epuba Euro of Gujarat. All popular brands of alcohol are readily available. Delhi was once the capital of the Mughal Empire, and it became the birthplace of Mughlay cuisine. Delhi is noted for its street food. The Paranthuli Gali in Chandani Chowk is just one of the culinary landmarks for stuffed flatbread. Delhi has people from different parts of India, thus the city has different types of food traditions, its cuisine is influenced by the various cultures. Punjabi cuisine is common, due to the dominance of Punjabi communities. Delhi cuisine is actually an amalgam of different Indian cuisines modified in unique ways. This is apparent in the different types of street food available. Kebabs, kachori, chaat, Indian sweets, Indian ice cream, and even Western food items like sandwiches and patties, are prepared in a style unique to Delhi and are quite popular. The area has a tropical climate, which means the spices and flavors are intense. Use of kokum is a distinct feature of the region's cuisine. Gone cuisine is mostly seafood and meat-based, the staple foods are rice and fish. Kingfish is the most common delicacy, and others include pomfret, shark, tuna, and mackerel, these are often served with coconut milk. Shellfish, including crabs, prawns, tiger prawns, lobster, squid, and mussels, are commonly eaten. The cuisine of Goa is influenced by its Hindu origins, 400 years of Portuguese colonialism, and modern techniques. Bread, introduced by the Portuguese, is very popular, and is an important part of Goan breakfast. Frequent tourism in the area gives Goan food an international aspect. Vegetarianism is equally popular. Gujarati cuisine is primarily vegetarian. The typical Gujarati thali consists of roti, dal, or khadi, rice, sabza slash shak, paypad, and chas. The sabzi is a dish of different combinations of vegetables and spices which may be stir-fried, spicy, or sweet. Gujarati cuisine can vary widely in flavor and heat based on personal and regional tastes. North Gujarat, Kathiawad, Kush, and South Gujarat are the four major regions of Gujarati cuisine. Many Gujarati dishes are simultaneously sweet, salty, and spicy. In mango season, kari no ras is often an integral part of the meal. Spices also vary seasonally. For example, 
garam masala is used very less in summer. Few of Gujarati snacks like sev kamani, kukra, dalveda, mathi na bajiya, kaman, bakarwadi, etc. Regular fasting, with diets limited to milk, dried fruit, and nuts, is a common practice. Cattle being common in Haryana, dairy products are a common component of its cuisine. Specific dishes include kadi, pakara, basan masala roti, bajra alu roti, churma, kheer, bathurita, mathai gajar, singri ki sabzi, and tamatar chutney. Lassi, Sharbat, and Nimbupani are three popular non-alcoholic beverages in Haryana. Liquor stores are common there, which cater to a large number of truck drivers. The daily diet of Himachal people is similar to that of the rest of North India, including lentils, broth, rice, vegetables, and bread, although non-vegetarian cuisine is preferred. Some of the specialties of Himachal include siju, patanda, chuk, rajma, and til chutney. The cuisine of Jammu and Kashmir is from three regions of the state, Jammu, Kashmir, and Ladakh. Kashmiri cuisine has evolved over hundreds of years. Its first major influence was the food of the Kashmiri Hindus and Buddhists. The cuisine was later influenced by the cultures which arrived with the invasion of Kashmir by Timur from the area of modern Uzbekistan. Subsequent influences have included the cuisines of Central Asia and the North Indian plains. The most notable ingredient in Kashmiri cuisine is mutton, of which over 30 varieties are known. Wazwan is a multi-course meal in the Kashmiri tradition the preparation of which is considered an art. Kashmiri Pandit food is elaborate, and an important part of the Pandit's ethnic identity. Kashmiri Pandit cuisine usually uses yogurt, oil, and spices such as turmeric, red chili, cumin, ginger, and fennel, though they do not use onion and garlic. Also, biryanis are quite popular here. They are the speciality of Kashmir. Traditional Yaharkand dishes are not available at restaurants, as they have not been commercialized. Prepared exclusively in tribal regions, this cuisine uses oil and spices infrequently, except for pickle production and special occasions. Bagani chop, a snack made of brinjal slices or eggplant, is popular in Yaharkand. Thekwa is a sweet dish made of sugar, wheat, flour, and chopped coconuts. Hadia, which is made of paddy rice, is a refreshing drink. A wide variety of recipes is prepared with different types of rice in Yaharkand, including tuhuska, pitha, and different kinds of rotis prepared with rice. A number of dishes, such as idli, rava idli, Mysore masala dosa, etc. were invented here and have become popular beyond the state of Karnataka. Equally, varieties in the cuisine of Karnataka have similarities with its three neighboring South Indian states, as well as the states of Maharashtra and Goa to its north. It is very common for the food to be served on a banana leaf, especially during festivals and functions. Karnataka cuisine can be very broadly divided into, 1 Mysore slash Bangalore cuisine, 2 North Karnataka cuisine, 3 Udupi cuisine, 4 Kodagu slash Korg cuisine, and 5 Karavala slash Coastal cuisine. The cuisine covers a wide spectrum of food from pure vegetarian and vegan to meats like pork, and from savouries to sweets. Typical dishes include Bizi Bele Bath, Jolada Roti, Badain Kai Yenagai, Halaje, Katyubu, Chapati, Idli Veda, Ragi Roti, Aki Roti, Saru, Huli, Kutu, 
Vanjabath, Karabath, Kesari Bath, Sajaj, Nirdosa, Mysore Pak, Halbai, Kairatai, Benidos, Ragi Mud, and Upido. Hindu communities condemn beef taboo since it is believed that Hindu scriptures condemn cow slaughter. Beef consumption has been banned in many states of India. Vaishnavism followers generally do not eat garlic and onions because they are advised against it in the Bhagavad Gita. Jains follow a strict form of vegetarianism, known as Jain vegetarianism, which in addition to being completely vegetarian, also excludes potatoes and other root vegetables because when the root is pulled up, organisms that live around the root also die. Muslims do not eat pork or pork products. Nagaland Odisha Puducherry Punjab Rajasthan Sikkim Sindh Tamil Nadu Telangana Tripura Uttar Pradesh Uttarakhand West Bengal Diaspora and Fusion Cuisines Indian Chinese Cuisine Malaysian Indian Cuisine Indian Singaporean Cuisine Anglo-Indian Cuisine Desserts Beverages Non-alcoholic beverages Alcoholic beverages Beer Others Eating habits Dietary restrictions Etiquette Outside India Canada China Middle East Nepal Southeast Asia United Kingdom Ireland United States Bibliography The Kodagu district is known for spicy pork curries, while coastal Karnataka specializes in seafood. Although the ingredients differ regionally, a typical Kanadiga oada is served on a banana leaf. The coastal districts of Daxhina Kannada and Udupi have slightly varying cuisines which make extensive use of coconut in curries and frequently include seafood. Traditional food of Kerala Hindus is vegetarian, with regional exceptions such as the food of the Malabar area. It includes Kerala Sadhaya, which is an elaborate vegetarian banquet prepared for festivals and ceremonies. Contemporary Kerala food also includes non-vegetarian dishes. A full course sadhya, which consists of rice with about 20 different accompaniments and desserts is the ceremonial meal, eaten usually on celebrations such as marriages, onam, vishu, etc., and is served on a plantain leaf. Fish and seafood play a major role in Kerala cuisine, as Kerala is a coastal state. An everyday Kerala meal in most households consists of rice with fish curry made of sardines, mackerel, sear fish, kingfish, pomfret, prawns, shrimp, sole, anchovy, parrotfish, etc., vegetable curry and stir-fried vegetables with or without coconut traditionally known as thoran or mizukapurati. As Kerala has large inland water bodies, Freshwater fish are abundant, and constitute regular meals. It is common in Kerala to have a breakfast with non-vegetarian dishes in restaurants, in contrast to other states in India. Chicken-slash-mutton stews, lamb-slash-chicken-slash-beef-slash-pork-slash-egg curry, fish curry with tapioca for breakfast are common. A wide range of breakfast with non-vegetarian is common in Malabar and in central Kerala. Kerala cuisine reflects its rich trading heritage. Over time, 
various cuisines have blended with indigenous dishes, while foreign ones have been adapted to local tastes. Significant Arab, Syrian, Portuguese, Dutch, Jewish, and Middle Eastern influences exist in this region's cuisine, through ancient trade routes via the Arabian Sea and through Arab traders who settled here, contributed to the evolution of Koja Kodan Halwe along with other dishes like Thalassari Biryani. Coconuts grow in abundance in Kerala, so grated coconut and coconut milk are commonly used for thickening and flavoring. Kerala's long coastline and numerous rivers have led to a strong fishing industry in the region, making seafood a common part of the meal. Rice is grown in abundance, along with tapioca. It is the main starch ingredient used in Kerala's food. Having been a major production area of spices for thousands of years, the region makes frequent use of black pepper, cardamom, clove, ginger, and cinnamon. Most of Kerala's Hindus, except its Brahmin community, eat fish, chicken, beef, pork, eggs, and mutton. The Brahmin is famed for its vegan cuisine, especially varieties of sambar and ray sam. A thick vegetable stew popular in South and Central India called avial is believed to have originated in southern Kerala. Avial is a widely eaten vegetarian dish in the state and plays a major role in sadia. In most Kerala households, a typical meal consists of rice and vegetables. Kerala also has a variety of breakfast dishes like idli, dosa, upam, idiyapam, Puttu, and Pathari. The Muslim community of Kerala blend Arabian, North Indian, and indigenous Malabari cuisines, using chicken, eggs, beef, and mutton. Thalassari biryani is the only biryani variant, which is of Kerala origin having originated in Talasiri, in Malabar region. The dish is significantly different from other biryani variants. The Padhanam Thitta region is known for rollin and fish curries. Upam along with wine and curries of cured beef and pork are popular among Syrian Christians in central Kerala. Popular desserts are payasam and halwe. The Hindu community's payasams, especially those made at temples, like the Ambalapaza temple, are famous for their rich taste. Halva is one of the most commonly found or easily recognized sweets in bakeries throughout Kerala, and Kojakod is famous for its unique and exotic halyava, which is popularly known as Kojakodan halyava. Europeans used to call the dish sweetmeat due to its texture and a street in Koja Code where became named Sweet Meat Street during colonial rule. Koja Kodan Halyava is mostly made from maida, and comes in various flavors, such as banana, ghee, or coconut. However, Karutha Halyava made from rice is also very popular. Many Muslim families in the region are famed for their traditional Karutha Halyava. The cuisine of Lakshadweep prominently features seafood and coconut. Local food consists of spicy non-vegetarian and vegetarian dishes. The culinary influence of Kerala is quite evident in the cuisines of Lakshadweep, since the island lies in close proximity to Kerala. Coconut and sea fish serve as the foundations of most of the meals. The people of Lakshadweep drink large amounts of coconut water, which is the most abundant aerated drink on the island. Coconut milk is the base for most of the curries. All the sweet or savory dishes have a touch of famous Malabar spices. Local people also prefer to have dosa, idlis, and various rice dishes. The cuisine in Madhya Pradesh varies regionally. Wheat and meat are common in the north and west of the state, while the wetter south and east are dominated by rice and fish. Milk is a common ingredient in Gwalior and Indore. 
The street food of Indore is renowned, with shops that have been active for generations. Bhopal is known for meat and fish dishes such as Rogan Josh, Korma, Kima, Biryani, Palaf, and Kebabs. On a street named Chaturigali in Old Bhopal, one can find traditional Muslim non-vegetarian fare such as paya soup, bun kabab, and nali nahari as some of the specialties. Dal bafla is a common meal in the region and can be easily found in Indore and other nearby regions, consisting of a steamed and grilled wheat cake dunked in rich ghee, which is eaten with dal and ladus. The culinary specialty of the Malwa and Indore regions of central Madhya Pradesh is poha, usually eaten at breakfast with jalebi. Beverages in the region include lassi, beer, rum, and sugarcane juice. A local liquor is distilled from the flowers of the mahua tree. Date palm toddy is also popular. In tribal regions, a popular drink is the sap of the sulfi tree which may be alcoholic if it has fermented. Maharashtrian cuisine is an extensive balance of many different tastes. It includes a range of dishes from mild to very spicy tastes. Bajri, wheat, rice, chowar, vegetables, lentils, and fruit form important components of the Maharashtrian diet. Popular dishes include purin pali, uktik modak, Batata Wada, Sabu Dana Kikdi, Masala Bhat, Pav Beji, and Wada Pav. Poha or Misal Pav flattened rice is also usually eaten at breakfast. Kanda Poha and Ala Poha are some of the dishes cooked for breakfast and snacking in evenings. Popular spicy meat dishes include those that originated in the Kolhapur region. These are the Kalhapuri Sukha Mutton, Pandra Rasa, and Tabmda Rasa. Shrikand, a sweet dish made from strained yogurt, is a main dessert of Maharashtrian cuisine. The cuisine of Maharashtra can be divided into two major sections Sa Euro the coastal and the interior. The Konkan, on the coast of the Arabian Sea, has its own type of cuisine a homogeneous combination of Malvani, Gaud Saraswat Brahmin, and Gon cuisines. In the interior of Maharashtra, the Vidarbha and Marathwada areas have their own distinct cuisines. The cuisine of Vidarbha uses ground nuts, poppy seeds, jaggery, wheat, chowar, and bajra extensively. A typical meal consists of rice, roti, pali, or bakar, along with varan and omti a euro lentils and spiced vegetables. Cooking is common with different types of oil. Savji food from Vidarbha is well known all over Maharashtra. Savji dishes are very spicy and oily. Savji mutton curries are very famous. Like other coastal states, an enormous variety of vegetables, fish, and coconuts exists where they are common ingredients. Peanuts and cashews are often served with vegetables. Grated coconuts are used to flavor many types of dishes, but coconut oil is not widely used, peanut oil is preferred. Kokum, most commonly served chilled, in an appetizer digestive called sol kadi, is prevalent. During summer, Maharashtrians consume panha, a drink made from raw mango. Malwani cuisine is a specialty of the tropical area which spans from the shore of Diagad Malwan to the southern Maharashtrian border with Goa. The unique taste and flavor of Malwani cuisine comes from Malwani masala and use of coconut and kakam. The staple foods are rice and fish. Various kinds of red and green fish, prawns, crab, and shellfish curries are well known, along with kambati weight and mutton prepared Malwani style. Mahari mutton is also one of the distinct delicacies of Malwani cuisine. A large variety of fish is available in the region, 
which include Sermay, Kareli, Banjata, Bombil, Paplet, Halway, Tirali, Swandale, Colombi, Tesseri, Calway, and Curly. All these fish are available in dried form, including prawns, which are known as sodi. Local curries and chatanis are also prepared with dried fish. Different types of rice breads and pancakes add to the variety of Malwani cuisine and include Tandlachi Bakari, Gawain, Ambalai, Padol, Ap, Tandalaki, and Shave. These rice breads can be eaten specially flavored with coconut milk, fish curries, and chicken or mutton curries. Sol Kadi made from kakam and coconut milk is a signature appetizer drink. For vegetarians, Malwani delicacies include aluchi beji, aluchi gathaya, kalaya watanyacha, and sambara. The sweets and desserts include yukatak modak, malawani kuj, kadakad kundak laju, shagdanyach laju, tandal kakir, and tandalaki shave on eras. Manipuri cuisine is represented by the cuisine of the mighty Ai people who form the majority population in the central plain. Mighty Ai food are simple, tasty, organic, and healthy. Rice with local seasonal vegetables and fish form the main diet. Most of the dishes are cooked like vegetable stew, flavored with either fermented fish called angari, or dried and smoked fish. The most popular Manipuri dish is the iramba, it's a preparation of boiled and mashed vegetables, often including potatoes or beans, mixed with chili and roasted fermented fish. Another popular dish is the savory cake called pak nam, made of a base of lentil flour stuffed with various ingredients such as banana inflorescence, mushrooms, fish, vegetables etc and baked covered in turmeric leaves. Along with spicy dishes, a mild side dish of steamed or boiled sweet vegetables are often served in the daily meals. The Manipuri salad dish called Singchu, made of finely julienned cabbage, green papaya and other vegetables, and garnished with local herbs, toasted sesame powder and lentil flour is extremely popular locally and often found sold in small street-side vendors. Singju is often served with bora which are fritters of various kinds, and also kang hao, or oil-fried spicy veggies. Cooked and fermented soybean is a popular condiment in all Manipuri kitchens. The staple diet of Manipur consists of rice, fish, large varieties of leafy vegetables. Mani purists typically raise vegetables in a kitchen garden and rear fishes in small ponds around their house. Since the vegetables are either grown at home or obtained from local market, the cuisines are very seasonal, each season having its own special vegetables and preparations. The taste is very different from mainland Indian cuisines because of the use of various aromatic herbs and roots that are peculiar to the region. They are however very similar to the cuisines of Southeast slash East slash Central Asia, Siberia, Micronesia, and Polynesia. Meghalayan cuisine is unique and different from other Northeastern Indian states. Spiced meat is common, from goats, pigs, fowl, ducks, chickens, and cows. In the Kasai and Jaintia Hills districts, Common foods include jado, ki kpu, tungrim bai, and pickled bamboo shoots. Other common foods in Meghalaya include minal sangha, sakin gata, and momo dumplings. Like other tribes in the northeast, the Garos ferment rice beer, which they consume in religious rites and secular celebrations. The cuisine of Mizoram differs from that of most of India though it shares characteristics to other regions of Northeast India and North India. Rice is the staple food of Mizoram, while Mizos love to add non-vegetarian ingredients in every dish. 
Fish, chicken, pork, and beef are popular meats among misos. Dishes are served on fresh banana leaves. Most of the dishes are cooked in mustard oil. Meals tend to be less spicy than in most of India. Misos love eating boiled vegetables along with rice. A popular dish is bai, made from boiling vegetables with bekang fermented soya beans or saam, a fermented pork and served with rice. Sahachiar is another common dish, made of rice and cooked with pork or chicken. The cuisine of Nagaland reflects that of the Naga people. It is known for exotic pork meats cooked with simple and flavorful ingredients, like the extremely hot Budyalokia pepper, fermented bamboo shoots and akanai or fermented soya beans. Another unique and strong ingredient used by the Naga people, is the fermented fish known as angari. Fresh herbs and other local greens also feature prominently in the Naga cuisine. The Naga use oil sparingly, preferring to ferment, dry, and smoke their meats and fish. Traditional homes in Nagaland have external kitchens that serve as smokehouses. A typical meal consists of rice, meat, a chutney a couple of stewed or steamed vegetable dishes a euro flavored with angari or akanai. Desserts usually consist of fresh fruits. The cuisine of Odisha relies heavily on local ingredients. Flavors are usually subtle and delicately spiced, unlike the spicy curries typically associated with Indian cuisine. Fish and other seafood, such as crab and shrimp, are very popular, and chicken and mutton are also consumed. Panch Phutana, a mix of cumin, mustard, fennel, fenugreek, and kalanji, is widely used for flavoring vegetables and dals, while garam masala and turmeric are commonly used for meat-based curries. Pikala, a dish made of rice, water, and yogurt, that is fermented overnight is very popular in summer in rural areas. Oriyas are very fond of sweets, so dessert follows most meals. Few popular Oriya cuisines, Anna, Kanaka, Dalma, Kata, Dali, known as Arhar in Hindi, Muga, Kolatha, etc. And many more varieties both in veg and non-veg. Saga and Alu Barda along with Pikala are popular dishes in rural Odisha. Odisha is well known for its milk-based sweets. Among the many Rasagula which originated in Odisha, Chuna Poda, Chuna Gaja, Chuna Yahili, and Razabali are very famous. The Union Territory of Puducherry was a French colony for around 200 years making French cuisine a strong influence on the area. Tamil cuisine is eaten by the territory's Tamil majority. The influence of the neighboring areas, such as Andhra Pradesh and Kerala, is also visible on the territory's cuisine. Some favorite dishes include coconut curry, tandoori potato, soya dosa, padan langkai, curried vegetables, stuffed cabbage, and baked beans. The cuisine of Punjab is known for its diverse range of dishes. The state, being an agriculture center, is abundant with whole grains, vegetables, and fruits. Home-cooked and restaurant Punjabi cuisine can vary significantly. Restaurant-style Punjabi cooking puts emphasis on creamy textured foods by using ghee, butter, and cream to accustom various kinds of guest taste preferences, while, home-cooked equivalents center around whole wheat, rice, and other ingredients flavored with various kinds of masalas. Common dishes cooked at home are roti with dal and ati with a side chutney and salad that includes raw onion, tomato, cucumber, etc. The meals are also abundant of local and seasonal vegetables usually sought a copyright ed with spices such as cumin, 
dried coriander, red chili powder, turmeric, black cloves, etc. Masala chai is a favorite drink and is consumed in everyday life and at special occasions. Many regional differences exist in the Punjabi cuisine based on traditional variations in cooking similar dishes, food combinations, preference of spice combination, etc. Is it apparent that the food is simple, robust, and closely linked to the land? Certain dishes exclusive to Punjab, such as maki di roti and sarsan de saig, dal makhani, etc. are a favorite of many. The masala in a Punjabi dish traditionally consists of onion, garlic, ginger, cumin, garam masala, salt, turmeric, tomatoes sautéed in mustard oil. Tandoori food is a Punjabi specialty. Common meat dishes in this region are bakra curry and fish dishes. Dairy products are commonly consumed and usually accompany main meals in the form of dahi, milk, and milk derived products such as lassi, painer, etc. Punjab consists of a high number of people following the Sikh religion who traditionally follow a vegetarian diet in accordance to their beliefs. No description of Punjabi cuisine is complete without the myriad of famous desserts, such as kheer, gajar ka halwe, suji halwe, rasmalai, gulab jamun, and jalebi. Most desserts are ghee or dairy based, use nuts such as almonds, walnuts, pistachios, cashews, and raisins. Many of the most popular elements of Anglo-Indian cuisine, such as tandoori foods, naan, pakaras, and vegetable dishes with painer, are derived from Punjabi styles. Punjabi food is well liked in the world for its flavors, spices, and versatile use of produce, and hence it is one of the most popular cuisines from the subcontinent. And last but not least is the Khol Batur and Khol Kulch which are famous all over the North India. Cooking in Rajasthan, an arid region, has been strongly shaped by the availability of ingredients. Because water is at a premium, food is generally cooked in milk or ghee, making it quite rich. Gram flour is a mainstay of Marwari food mainly due to the scarcity of vegetables in the area. Historically, food that could last for several days and be eaten without heating was preferred. Major dishes of a Rajasthani meal may include dalbiati, tarfini, rabdi, gavar, balgat, panchkuta, chavadi, lopsi, kadi and bundi. Typical snacks include Baikonuri Bujia, Murchi Bada, Piaj Kishori, and Dal Kishori. Dalbiati is the most popular dish prepared in the state. It is usually supplemented with jerma, a mixture of finely ground baked rotis, sugar, and ghee. Rajasthan is also influenced by the Rajputs who were predominantly non-vegetarians. Their diet consisted of game meat and gave birth to dishes like lal moss, saved moss, kad kargosh, and jungli moss. In Sikkim, various ethnic groups such as the Nepalese, Bhutias, and Lepchas have their own distinct cuisines. Nepalese cuisine is very popular in this area. Rice is the staple food of the area, and meat and dairy products are also widely consumed. For centuries, traditional fermented foods and beverages have constituted about 20% of the local diet. Depending on altitudinal variation, finger millet, wheat, buckwheat, barley, vegetables, potatoes, and soybeans are grown. Dhindo, Dalbat, Gundruk, Momo, Gyathuk, Ningro, Fag Shapa, and Sel Roti are some of the local dishes. Alcoholic drinks are consumed by both men and women. Beef is eaten by the Bhutias.
Sindhi cuisine refers to the native cuisine of the Sindhi people from the Sindh region, now in Pakistan. While Sindh is not geographically a part of modern India, its culinary traditions persist, due to the sizable number of Hindu Sindhis who migrated to India following the independence of Pakistan in 1947, especially in Sindhi enclaves such as Ulhas Nagar and Gandhidam. A typical meal in most Sindhi households consists of wheat-based flatbread and rice accompanied by two dishes, one with gravy and one dry. Lotus stem is also used in Sindhi dishes. Cooking vegetables by deep frying is a common practice that is followed. Some common Sindhi dishes are Sindhi kadi, Sai Beji, Koki, and Basan Beji. Some common ingredients used are mango powder, tamarind, kokum flowers, and dried pomegranate seeds. Tamil Nadu is noted for its deep belief that serving food to others is a service to humanity, as is common in many regions of India. The region has a rich cuisine involving both traditional non-vegetarian and vegetarian dishes. Tamil food is characterized by its use of rice, legumes, and lentils, along with distinct aromas and flavors achieved by the blending of spices such as curry leaves, tamarind, coriander, ginger, garlic, chili pepper, cinnamon, clove, cardamom, cumin, nutmeg, coconut and rose water. The traditional way of eating a meal involves being seated on the floor, having the food served on a plantain leaf, and using the right hand to eat. After the meal the plantain leaf is discarded but becomes food for free-ranging cattle and goats. A meal consists of rice with other typical Tamil dishes on a plantain leaf. A typical Tamilian would eat in plantain leaf as it gives different flavor and taste to the food. But it can also be served on a stainless steel tray a euro plate with a selection of different dishes in small bowls. Tamil food is characterized by tiffins, which is a light food taken for breakfast or dinner, and meals which are usually taken during lunch. The word curry is derived from the Tamil curry, meaning something similar to sauce. The southern regions such as Tirunelveli, Madurai, Paramakudi, Karakudi, and Chetanad are noted for their spicy non-vegetarian dishes. Dosa, idli. Pungal and biryani are some of the popular dishes and are eaten with chutney and sambar. Fish and other seafoods are also very popular, because the state is located on the coast. Chicken and goat meat is the predominantly consumed meats in Tamil Nadu. Many Tamilians are vegetarian, however, and the typical meal is heavily dependent on rice, vegetables, and lentil preparations such as ray sam and sambar. Tamil food tends to be spicy compared to other parts of India so there is a tradition of finishing the meal with yogurt is considered a soothing end to the meal. The cuisine of Telangana consists of the Telugu cuisine, of Telangana's Telugu people as well as Hyderabadi cuisine of Telangana's Hyderabadi Muslim community. Hyderabadi food is based heavily on non-vegetarian ingredients while, Telugu food is a mix of both vegetarian and non-vegetarian ingredients. Telugu food is rich in spices and chilies are abundantly used. The food also generally tends to be more on the tangy side with tamarind and lime juice both used liberally as souring agents. Rice is the staple food of Telugu people. Starch is consumed with a variety of curries and lentil soups or broths. Vegetarian and non-vegetarian foods are both popular. Hyderabadi cuisine includes popular delicacies such as biryani, halayam, baghara bangan, and keema, while Hyderabadi day-to-day -day dishes see some commonalities with Telanganite Telugu food with its use of tamarind, rice, and lentils, along with meat. Yogurt is a common addition to meals, as a way of tempering spiciness.
The Tripuri people are the original inhabitants of the state of Tripura in northeast India. Today, they comprise the communities of Tipra, Ring, Jamatia, Noatia, and Uchoi, among others. The Tripuri are non vegetarian, although they have a minority of Vaishnavite vegetarians. The major ingredients of Tripuri cuisine include vegetables, herbs, pork, chicken, mutton, fishes, turtle, shrimps, crabs, freshwater mussels, periwinkles, edible freshwater snails and frogs. Traditionally, Uttar Pradeshi cuisine consists of Awadi and Mughlay cuisine, though a vast majority of the state is vegetarian, preferring dal, roti, sabzi, and rice. Puris and kachoris are eaten on special occasions. Chaat, samosa, and pakara, among the most popular snacks in India, originate from Uttar Pradesh. Well-known dishes include kebabs, dum biryani, and various mutton recipes. Sheer korma, gavar, gulab jamun, kheer, and ras mala are some of the popular desserts in this region. Awadi cuisine is from the city of Lucknow, which is the capital of the state of Uttar Pradesh in central South Asia and northern India, and the cooking patterns of the city are similar to those of Central Asia, the Middle East, and other parts of northern India. The cuisine consists of both vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Awad has been greatly influenced by Mughal cooking techniques, and the cuisine of Lucknow bears similarities to those of Central Asia, Kashmir, Punjab, and Hyderabad. The city is also known for its Nawabi foods. The Bawarkas and Rakabdars of Awad gave birth to the dumb style of cooking or the art of cooking over a slow fire, which has become synonymous with Lucknow today. Their spread consisted of elaborate dishes like kebabs, kormas, biryani, kalia, nahari kulchas, zarda, shirmal, rumali rotis, and warkai parathats. The richness of Awad cuisine lies not only in the variety of cuisine but also in the ingredients used like mutton, painer, and rich spices, including cardamom and saffron. Mughlay cuisine is a style of cooking developed in the Indian subcontinent by the imperial kitchens of the Mughal Empire. It represents the cooking styles used in North India. The cuisine is strongly influenced by the Central Asian cuisine, the region where the Chagatai Turkic Mughal rulers originally hailed from, and it has in turn strongly influenced the regional cuisines of Kashmir and the Punjab region. The tastes of Mughlay cuisine vary from extremely mild to spicy, and is often associated with a distinctive aroma and the taste of ground and whole spices. A Mughlay course is an elaborate buffet of main course dishes with a variety of accompaniments. The food from Uttarakhand is known to be healthy and wholesome to suit the high energy necessities of the cold, mountainous region. It is a high protein diet that makes heavy use of pulses and vegetables. Traditionally it is cooked over wood or charcoal fire mostly in iron utensils while also making use of condiments such as jeera, haldi, and rai common in other Indian cuisines. Uttar Akhand cuisine uses some exotic condiments like jambu, timur, gandrani, and banjira. Similarly, although the people in Uttar Akhand also prepare the dishes common in other parts of northern India, several preparations are unique to Uttar Akhand tradition such as rus, chudkani, Dhyabuk, Chadanji, Yahali, Kappa, etc. Among dressed salads and sauces, Kheer Karaita, Nimbya Muli Karaita, Dharam Ki Katai and Aam Ka Fahitha necessarily deserve a mention. The cuisine mainly consists of food from two different sub regions Sa Euro Garewal and Kuman A Euro, though their basic ingredients are the same. 
Both the Cumani and Garewali styles make liberal use of ghee, lentils, or pulses, vegetables and bait. They also use bati and mung godi as substitutes for vegetables at times. During festivals and other celebrations, the people of Uttarakhand prepare special refreshments which include both salty preparations such as bada and sweet preparations such as pua and singal. Uttarakhand also has several sweets such as singodi, bal mithai, malaladu, etc. native to its tradition. During the 19th century, many Odia-speaking cooks were employed in Bengal, which led to the transfer of several food items between the two regions. Bengali cuisine is the only traditionally developed multi-course tradition from the Indian subcontinent that is analogous in structure to the modern service a la russe style of French cuisine, with food served course-wise rather than all at once. Bengali cuisine differs according to regional tastes, such as the emphasis on the use of chili pepper in the Chittagong district of Bangladesh however, across all its varieties, there is predominant use of mustard oil along with large amounts of spices. The cuisine is known for subtle flavors with an emphasis on fish, meat, vegetables, lentils, and rice. Bread is not a common dish in Bengali cuisine, but a deep-fried version called luchi is popular. Fresh sweetwater fish is one of its most distinctive features. Bengalis prepare fish in many ways, such as steaming, braising, or stewing in vegetables and sauces based on coconut milk or mustard. East Bengali food, which has a high presence in West Bengal and Bangladesh, is much spicier than the West Bengali cuisine, and tends to use high amounts of chili, and is one of the spiciest cuisines in India and the world. Shandish and rasgulla are popular sweet dishes made of sweetened, finely ground fresh cheese. The rasgulla originated in Bengal, and later became popular in erstwhile Odisha. The government of West Bengal has recently acquired the GI status of Rasgulla after citing proof in court. The cuisine is also found in the state of Tripura and the Barak Valley of Assam. The interaction of various Indian diaspora communities with the native cultures of their domiciles have resulted in the creation of many fusion cuisines, which blend aspects of Indian and foreign cuisines. These cuisines tend to adapt Indian seasoning and cooking techniques to foreign dishes. Indian Chinese cuisine, also known as Indo-Chinese cuisine originated in the 19th century among the Chinese community of Calcutta, during the immigration of Hakka Chinese from Canton seeking to escape the First and Second Opium Wars and political instability in the region. Upon exposure to local Indian cuisine, they incorporated many spices and cooking techniques into their own cuisine, thus creating a unique fusion of Indian and Chinese cuisine. After 1947, many Cantonese immigrants fleeing political repression under Mao Zedong, opened their own restaurants in Calcutta, whose dishes combined aspects of Indian cuisine with Cantonese cuisine. While Indian Chinese cuisine is heavily derived from traditional Chinese cuisine, it bears little resemblance to its Chinese counterpart. The dishes tend to be flavored with cumin, coriander seeds, and turmeric, which with a few regional exceptions, are not traditionally associated with Chinese cuisine. Chili, ginger, garlic, and yogurt are also frequently used in dishes. Popular dishes include chicken manchurian, chicken lollipop, chili chicken, hakka noodles, hunan chicken, chow mein, and Sichuan fried rice. Soups such as mangkov soup and sweet corn soup are very popular, whereas desserts include ice cream on honey fried noodles and date pancakes. Chow mein is now known as one of the most favorite Chinese dishes in India. Especially in West Bengal, it is one of the most loved street foods.
Indian Singaporean cuisine refers to foods and beverages produced and consumed in Singapore that are derived, wholly or in part, from South Asian culinary traditions. The great variety of Singaporean food includes Indian food, which tends to be Tamil cuisine, especially local Tamil Muslim cuisine, although North Indian food has become more visible recently. Indian dishes have become modified to different degrees, after years of contact with other Singaporean cultures, and in response to locally available ingredients, as well as changing local tastes. Anglo-Indian cuisine is the cuisine that developed during the British Raj in India, as the British wives interacted with their Indian cooks. Well-known Anglo-Indian dishes include chutneys, salted beef tongue, kejari, ball curry, fish rissoles, and mulligatawny soup. Many Indian desserts, or mithai, are fried foods made with sugar, milk, or condensed milk. Ingredients and preferred types of dessert vary by region. In the eastern part of India, for example, most are based on milk products. Many are flavored with almonds and pistachios, spiced with cardamom, nutmeg, cloves, and black pepper, and decorated with nuts, or with gold or silver leaf. Popular Indian desserts include gulab jamun, jalebi, ladu, peta etc. A cup of Darjeeling tea. Lassi served at an Indian restaurant. Indian filter coffee is popular in southern India. Badam milk. Tea is a staple beverage throughout India, since the country is one of the largest producers of tea in the world. The most popular varieties of tea grown in India include Assam tea, Darjeeling tea, and Nilgiri tea. It is prepared by boiling the tea leaves in a mix of water, milk, and spices such as cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and ginger. In India, tea is often enjoyed with snacks like biscuits and pakata. Coffee is another popular beverage, but more popular in South India. Coffee is also cultivated in some parts of India. There are two varieties of coffee popular in India, which include Indian filter coffee and instant coffee. Lassi is a traditional yogurt-based drink in India. It is made by blending yogurt with water or milk and spices. Salted Lassi is more common in villages of Punjab and in Poor Bandar, Gujarat. Traditional Lassi is sometimes flavored with ground roasted cumin. Lassi can also be flavored with ingredients such as sugar, rose water, mango, lemon, strawberry, and saffron. Sharbat is a sweet cold beverage prepared from fruits or flower petals. It can be served in concentrate form and eaten with a spoon, or diluted with water to create a drink. Popular sharbats are made from plants such as rose, sandalwood, bell, gurhal, lemon, orange, pineapple, sarasaparilla and falsa. In Ayurveda, sharbats are believed to hold medicinal value. Other beverages include nimbupani, chas, badam dud, and coconut water. Cold drinks unique to southern India include beverages, such as panar soda or gola soda, which is a mixture of carbonated water, rose water, rose milk, and sugar. Naranga soda, a mixture of carbonated water, salt, and lemon juice and soda nanari sharbat, a mixture of sarasaparilla sharbat with carbonated water are most popular non-alcoholic beverages in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Street shops in central Kerala and Madurai region of Tamil Nadu are most popular for these drinks which are also called kolaki sharbats in Kerala. Most beers in India are either lagers or strong lagers. 
The Indian beer industry has witnessed steady growth of 10 euro 17% per year over the last 10 years. Production exceeded 170 million cases during the 2008 a euro 2009 financial year. With the average age of the population decreasing and income levels on the rise, the popularity of beer in the country continues to increase. Other popular alcoholic drinks in India include feni, a gom liquor made from either coconut or the juice of the cashew apple. The state of Goa has registered for a geographical indicator to allow its feni distilleries to claim exclusive rights to production of liquor under the name feni. Hadia is a rice beer, created by mixing herbs with boiled rice and leaving the mixture to ferment for around a week. It is served cold and is less alcoholic than other Indian liquors. Chuaik is a similar drink from Tripura. Palm wine, locally known as Nira, is a sap extracted from inflorescences of various species of toddy palms. Chong is consumed by the people of Sikkim and the Darjeeling Himalayan hill region of West Bengal. It is drunk cold or at room temperature in summer and often hot during cold weather. Chong is similar to traditional beer, brewed from barley, millet, or rice. Kalu is a popular natural alcohol extracted from coconut and pine trees in Kerala. It is sold in local Kalu shops and is consumed with fried fish and chicken. Its alcoholic content is increased by addition of alcoholic additives. Indians consider a healthy breakfast important. They generally prefer to drink tea or coffee with breakfast, though food preferences vary regionally. North Indian people prefer roti, parathats, and a vegetable dish accompanied by achar and some curd. Various types of packaged pickles are available in the market. One of the oldest pickle-making companies in India is Harnarans which had started in the 1860s in Old Delhi. People of Gujarat prefer dakla and milk, while South Indians prefer idli and dosa, generally accompanied by samhar or sagu and various chutneys. Traditional lunch in India usually consists of a main dish of rice in the south and the east, and whole wheat rotis in the north. It typically includes two or three kinds of vegetables, and sometimes items such as kulcha, naan, or parathats. Pawn which aids digestion is often eaten after lunch and dinner in many parts of India. Indian families often gather for evening breakfast, similar to tea time to talk and have tea and snacks. Dinner is considered the main meal of the day. In India people often follow dietary restrictions based on their religion or faith. Traditionally, meals in India were eaten while seated either on the floor or on very low stools or cushions. Food is most often eaten with the right hand rather than cutlery. The left hand is used to serve oneself when the courses are not served by the host. Often roti is used to scoop curry without allowing it to touch the hand. In the wheat producing north, a piece of roti is gripped with the thumb and middle finger and ripped off while holding the roti down with the index finger. A somewhat different method is used in the south for the dosai, the ade, and the uthapam, where the middle finger is pressed down to hold the crepe down and the forefinger and thumb used to grip and separate a small part. Traditional serving styles vary regionally throughout India. Contact with other cultures has affected Indian dining etiquette. For example, the Anglo-Indian middle class commonly uses spoons and forks, as is traditional in Western culture. In South India, cleaned banana leaves, which can be disposed of after meals, are used for serving food. When hot food is served on banana leaves, the leaves add distinctive aromas and taste to the food. Leaf plates are less common today, except on special occasions.
Indian migration has spread the culinary traditions of the subcontinent throughout the world. These cuisines have been adapted to local tastes, and have also affected local cuisines. Curry's international appeal has been compared to that of pizza. Indian tandoor dishes such as chicken tikka enjoy widespread popularity. As in the United Kingdom and the United States, Indian cuisine is widely available in Canada, especially in the cities of Toronto and Vancouver, where the majority of Canadians of South Asian heritage live. Indian food is gaining popularity in China, where there are many Indian restaurants in Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. Hong Kong alone has more than 50 Indian restaurants, some of which date back to the 1980s. Most of the Indian restaurants in Hong Kong are in Tsim Sha Sui. The Indian culinary scene in the Middle East has been influenced greatly by the large Indian diaspora in these countries. Centuries of trade relations and cultural exchange resulted in a significant influence on each region's cuisines. The use of the tandoor, which originated in northwestern India, is an example. The large influx of Indian expatriates into the Middle Eastern countries during the 1970s and 1980s led to the booming of Indian restaurants to cater to this population and was also widely influenced by the local and international cuisines. Indian cuisine is available in the streets of Nepalese cities, including Kathmandu and Janakpur. Indian cuisine is very popular in Southeast Asia due to the strong Hindu and Buddhist cultural influence in the region. Indian cuisine has had considerable influence on Malaysian cooking styles and also enjoys popularity in Singapore. There are numerous North and South Indian restaurants in Singapore, mostly in Little India. Singapore is also known for fusion cuisine combining traditional Singaporean cuisine with Indian influences. Fish head curry, for example, is a local creation. Indian influence on Malay cuisine dates to the 19th century. Other cuisines which borrow inspiration from Indian cooking styles include Filipino, Vietnamese, Indonesian, Thai, and Burmese cuisines. The spread of vegetarianism in other parts of Asia is often credited to Hindu and Buddhist practices. The UK's first Indian restaurant, the Hindustani Coffee House, opened in 1810. By 2003, there were as many as 10,000 restaurants serving Indian cuisine in England and Wales alone. According to Britain's Food Standards Agency, the Indian food industry in the United Kingdom is worth £3.2 billion accounts for two-thirds of all eating out and serves about 2.5 million customers every week. One of the best-known examples of British Indian restaurant cuisine is Chicken Tikka Masala, which has also been called a true British national dish. Ireland's first Indian restaurant, the Indian Restaurant and Tea Rooms, opened in 1908 on Sackville Street now O'Connell Street in Dublin. Today, Indian restaurants are commonplace in most Irish cities and towns. Southeast Asians are the fastest growing ethnic group in Ireland. A survey by the Washington Post in 2007 stated that more than 1,200 Indian food products had been introduced into the United States since 2000. There are numerous Indian restaurants across the U.S., which vary based on regional culture and climate. North Indian and South Indian cuisines are especially well represented. Most Indian restaurants in the United States serve Americanized versions of North Indian food, which is generally less spicy than its Indian equivalents.